Hey everyone, my name's Slick, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna cover the latest patch to Elyon. We're gonna go over what changes have been made and how these changes may affect your in-game experiences. Before we continue, if you'd be so kind as to subscribe and hit the bell, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. So what has changed? Certain areas of the map have been decorated to provide a Halloween theme on the Vulpin and on Tari sides. The Vulpin sides are Reclaimed Honor, Crescent Molar Foothold, the Sea of Ruins Foothold, and on the Antari side it's the Grey Mountains, Sun Main Foothold, and the Red Carriage Foothold. There are also some outfits added to the Ruby Shop to also match this Halloween theme. Those are the Honorable Nobility and the Eccentric Jack-O-Lantern. Both costumes are priced at 1800 rubies. They also added a new mount called the Automatic Broom EX-01 and 02. These are priced at 1000 rubies. The Month of the Lion 1000 Mana XP had its shop price changed to 10,000 gold, so if you want to sell it, you can do so. Ruby boxes had their icons updated to look differently depending on the amount purchased. Curious Luminous boxes were actually removed from the Medal of Honor exchange shop and they were replaced with two other Luminous boxes. These are the Luminous Selection Box Grade 1 and the Random Box Grade 1. Both still cost 10 Victorious Medals, but you can only purchase one per week instead of the seven previously. The Hall of Challenges in the Transcendent Dungeon received a reward change. The Floor 5 changed from the Curious Luminous Box to the Luminous Random Box Grade 1. Pioneer Token Exchange Shop also received a new item. They placed the Luminous Random Box Grade 1 in there with a weekly limit of 1 and that's going to run you 1200 Pioneer Tokens. The following statement was put out by the Elyon team following the Luminous changes. I quote, Our vision behind these adjustments is to spread the methods of acquiring Luminous in-game to as varied content as possible. This will enable players with different play styles to acquire Luminous by playing the content they enjoy most. We will be giving free Luminous through attendance rewards and via various events such as a leaderboard event that rewards Luminous to all participants that meet an activity threshold. Increasing predictability and reducing randomness is still our guiding principle, and while we are reducing the total weekly amount of in-game Luminous available, our focus is on giving you the power of choice and adjusting balance around that." End quote. Halloween-related furniture and landscaped items for houses have been added. Keep an eye on the Ellie on Facebook and Twitter, and they will provide you the info on how to get these. Rewards were added to players' web inventories that qualify. The following players should check their web inventories on the Elyon website to get their rewards. Those who pre-registered, the CBT1 and 2 participants, the CBT survey providers, participated in the Twitter treasure hunt, and those who purchased 2 or 3 packages prior to the free-to-play announcement. The Elyon team does mention that those who have purchased through Steam will continue to have to wait for their compensation, but they say that they're working on it and they're going to provide it as soon as they can. The Elyon team does mention that the web inventory will remain under maintenance after the game is updated, so you may not have your rewards when you first check. Some issues were fixed this patch. Those include the Mana Awakening's preparation node. It wasn't giving the proper description. The changes were as follows. The issue of being constantly stunned over and over by monsters was resolved. There's no need to tell everyone to relog or glide to zero stamina anymore. Now there are a couple issues noted that weren't included in this week's patches. Those are that certain text is still English in the Ruby shop when you're changing your client's language, and that the new mount Automatic Broom EX01 will currently become bound to character after purchasing, but this will be changed during next week's maintenance. Now I know there were many people wanting to see Halloween themed items in game, so I'm sure a lot of people are happy to see the map props, the house items, and the outfits that were added. Now I do want to ask, how do you feel about these luminous changes that were made? Do you prefer being able to choose exactly what Luminous you want at the reduced rate of acquiring them? Or did you prefer the 7 random ones per week? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Now I am glad that the constant stunning bug is no longer a problem. Now we won't have to continue playing the game with losing 5% of our XP because the game just said screw you. That wraps up this week's maintenance changes. I once again want to thank you so very much for your time. If you want to keep up to date with future maintenance videos, or you just like the content that I put out, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell, and liking the video if you liked it. Happy grinding on Elyon, guys. Peace.